I'm still confused on the right on the right click uses. Like I don't know what that does. Oh. 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 All right, how's it going, guys? I'm the Kiwi Gamer, and welcome back to All the Mod Six. Where in the last episode we managed to make ourselves an All the Modium pickaxe and a vibranium pickaxe. Now this thing is actually absolutely insane and it has so much freaking durability on it and it mines just it's literally creative mode. Like it's actually stupidly overpowered. And there's a little slime in our boat what Okay. Um Oh my god, that is a lot of slimes over there. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We don't have to worry about that. Uh he's dead now, so I mean that that that's um yeah, that's cool. Now, before we start today's episode, I do have today's comment pulled up. Thank you so much, So Hammer Gaming. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but they said your sugarcane has grown huge. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about. I mean, this is obviously completely normal. I mean, I don't. This is definitely the most normal sugarcane farm I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's doing just fine, just like any other sugarcane farm. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to let that go because I feel like it can do better. I don't know. We'll see. Now, anyway, to kick off today's episode, though, I did a lot of work and I also took some advice from you guys. I know a lot of you guys were saying, oh, I should be making the all the modium uh, site potions or the vibranium site potions. Yeah, I, I, I needed to. I really did need to. And I did. I did. And because of that, I now have. Almost a half, over a half a stack of both all the modium ingots and vibranium ingots. That's absolutely insane. Now, what I'm going to do with them, honestly, I'm not quite entirely sure what I want to do just yet. But there is actually one thing I could do with it. Maybe. I don't know. We're, going, we're actually going to see here in a few because I'm not entirely sure just yet if I want to do it. Uh, but we will figure it out. But for today, though, there is kind of one thing that I've been wanting to get for quite a while now, and I've been putting it off even though I kind of need it. So I want to make ourselves a disenchantment table. Now, it is this thing right here. Is there any other type? There is. Okay. There's a book of disenchantment. There is a disenchanter. Disenchantment uh, my mycelial generator. Okay. And then a rat upgrade. Okay, I don't, I don't need that. I need this. So we need ourselves an enchanting table, some emeralds, and some obsidian. I think I have plenty of each of those. I should have an enchanting table somewhere, if I remember correct. Yep, there it is. And for some reason, it's an apotheus one. I have no idea why, but it is. So yeah, so I need five emeralds. One, two, three, four, five. And three obsidian. And give me that. Let's make ourselves a disenchantment table. Hopefully, I don't need um, bookshelves around it like a regular enchanting table at least i hope not so i'm gonna go ahead and throw you down here because this is where like all my enchanting stuff is and oh oh yeah that's right my anvil broke yeah i should probably make a new one at some point anyway so i guess wait do i actually have to have do i really have to have power to it are you serious You've got to be kidding me, please. Oh, this is actually bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got I got to test it on something. I got a lot of stuff here actually. So let's just, we'll just test it out on this. I should have some books somewhere. Yeah, I got some. Oh, please tell me it doesn't actually require a power source. If it does, I'm screwed. Oh. Oh, that's still in it. Okay. Dang it. It does. Oh, uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, crap. Well, okay, so it's with the cyclic mod is what it said. So I'm assuming there has to be some way to get something. Battery. Okay. Oh, that's not too hard. But how do I generate something? Because I need to generate uh, power of some sort, but I don't exactly understand how to do it. Oh, there's a cyclic guidebook. Okay. Ace and cobblestone? Oh. Um. I could make that. Try and figure out what to do. Oh, man. This is stupid. One hour later. Okay. So, 
I, I, I spent way too much time trying to figure this out. This is actually kind of stupid. There are many different processes on what I have to do to be able to do this. Oh my god, this is actually really stupid. So, I need a peat generator. I need that. I need a couple of energy pipes, which I believe are somewhere here, except I have no idea where they actually are. Yeah, I mean, I could probably just set it right next to the thing, maybe. I mean, at least I hope so. So we'll see with that. But either way, I had to get a peat generator, and I have no idea how to do that because whenever I try and look it up, you got this, all right? It requires peat, and I don't know how to get this except for getting saturated peat deposit. But the problem is you can't craft it. Well, I mean, you can craft it. By getting the dry peat bog, but I have no idea where you're actually supposed to get this stuff. Well, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Huh. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. No, 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 we can do this. It's just going to take a long time to do. That's, that's great. Anyway, so I need a lot of peat. Uh, so I guess, crap, I have to go out collecting some, I guess, leaves, saplings, and flowers of any sort. At least I hope so. So let me see if I can go ahead and collect all this. This is all so very confusing. There's just so many different things with this. Holy crap. All right, so I need me some shears. Let me give me some of those. Uh, make that. I'm going to go ahead and sleep because I don't like being out there in the nighttime. I'm assuming it doesn't really matter, like, exactly which ones that I use, which tree leaves that I use. At least I really hope not. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this since they're just kind of lying around here. And we're just going to use this stuff and it's going to be good. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So let's see if this actually works, at least the way I hope so. So I have to make the biomass. Yay, I can. Uh, is that all I'm going to be able to do? I think so. No? No? <gasps> Yay. Okay, because I feel like we're going to need a lot of this stuff. Probably wasn't able to use the cherry blossoms, but you know, I grabbed them just in case. So let's make the dry peat bog. I need, uh, probably be better to use grass blocks, but I don't have still touch pick. Ah. Is that really all I'm going to be able to do? Really? Hey, still touch. There we go. No touch and teleportation. All right, cool. Whatever. It works. That's all I need. Go ahead and give me six of these. That should be enough. Even though I got seven, it's fine. Just uh, throw one out. No big deal. No big deal. Now I need some charcoal, which thankfully I can easily get just by burning some trees over here. Or not. Really? Does it have to be a regular oak freaking tree? Are you serious? <sighs> so stupid. Wait, what the heck? Oh my god, it's a... What? It's a diamond out zombie. Holy crap. Hey, oh, you're a special guy. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. I'm going to get what you have. So, I want to turn you into a drowned. I want to see if we can actually do this. Come here. Come on, little buddy. Come on. I know you want to go in the water. I know you want to go in the water. Hey, what are you doing? Come on. In the water. That turned into a drowned. I'm going to go under here with you. That's a lot of fish. Come on, turn to a drown. I know you want to. Can I turn this guy to a drown? I don't know. I mean, there's actually probably a likelihood that I can't. So, no, he's not one to turn into one. So, I mean, this is what you have to do to turn into a drown, right? Right? Yeah, whatever. He's not one to turn. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I broke my hammer. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, I could also just do this. That didn't kill him in one hit. Oh, and I didn't get anything. Man, why'd the hammer have to freaking break? Now, yeah, whatever. All right, let's actually go ahead and make this stuff. So, dry peat bog. I have to get 16 of that. And it says you have to place it near water. So, I guess I should just be able to do this. I, I really hope, please. Yes! 
Okay, it actually works. And then you have to smelt it down to get this. So I wonder if I could just use this pickaxe maybe, and this will work. Hey, it did work. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So give me this. Actually kind of surprised that worked. All right, come on. Turn to Pete, please. I need more Pete. Okay, this should be good enough for the generator now. At least I hope so. So let me go see if I can actually make it. Now, I know I need a couple of pistons, right? Yeah. Two pistons, four P, redstone, that, that, that. So I need me some wood. I need me some cable. I need me some... How do you, how do you make a piston? Hold on. Redstone iron. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. I would like to make two pistons, please. One, two. Thank you. And now this. Nice. Okay. Let's see if I can actually put this thing right next to the disenchanter. And maybe it'll automatically put the stuff near it. At least I really hope so. <gasps> it is. Oh, it's actually working. So you just need to put biomass in there. Oh, okay. That is so good. So how much do you... Oh, God, that is so much. Should I make another generator try and increase the output? Because that's honestly kind of sad. Holy... Oh, wait, what? Oh. Right, right, right. Yeah, that is kind of sad on how much that is. Okay. Can I put Pete into this thing, maybe? Oh, I can. Oh, that is so much better on how much that is. Okay, okay. Oh, that is so much better. Okay, but like, how much do I need? Because there's still so much. It's like, it's nothing showing up, so it's not working, obviously. Ah, come on. Okay, come on, please, please. I put eight in there. There has to be enough to at least get one. No. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I kind of wasted some, but it worked. Okay, so... We have a disenchantment table? Yeah? Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, there is something that I would like to put something on. So, while I was mining the other day, I did manage to find myself a pickaxe. And it had a certain enchantment on it, if you guys can't see it yet. But this is indestructible. I want to put this on the Paxel because this thing will be absolutely overpowered basically on everything. So I probably won't be able to put it on this thing. At least I don't think so. I don't think I could put an enchanted book on uh, Tinker's Construct Tools, which kind of sucks. But I mean, what can you honestly do? So let me see here. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I need to make a new anvil. So... You miss some of this. Do I have any extra iron blocks or is that it? No, I think that's it. Let's give me iron block, please. One, two, three. Take all this back. Boom. 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 Got it. Okay. So the anvil right about here. I want to check just to make sure. Okay, no, no. But you really can't. Okay. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. So I don't know why I'm why I expected anything different, so it's fine. So let's go ahead and throw this in here and then throw this in here. Indestructible. That's pretty freaking good. And I for sure cannot put it on this because if I can, I'm using this thing forever. Destructible? I cannot. That sucks. Okay. So we can throw it on. Oh. What? What? Oh, come on. No, let me. Please let me. Maybe this is because it has Unbreaking 3 on it that it won't work? Maybe? That didn't take up too much. So, actually, let's go ahead. I'm going to hate myself for doing this. But let's go ahead and disenchant this guy. And get all the enchantments out of here, please. Thank you. Cool. So, let me see if I could actually put it on here now. Indestructible? Yes! Okay, so yeah, it was definitely because of the unbreaking. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it up. Oh, that is so cool. It's going back up in HP. Oh, that is so nice. So, uh, do that. Let's throw efficiency five on there. Thank you. 
Uh, reserve item on death. Yeah, I would probably need that. So what else? Scorching heat. Do I want scorching heat? Do I honestly want that? Because I mean, uh, honestly, it's been kind of nothing but a pain at the moment. And this doesn't have fortune either. So you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. All right. So now we have ourselves an unbreakable Paxel. That's freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, what else was on there? Experience boost. Yes. I would like that on here. So do that. Experience boost. Yes. There we go. Now we have an indestructible Paxel. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Now, if only it would freaking work for the sledgehammer, but no, I don't want to. All right. Whatever. All right. So I'm out of cobalt. That sucks. Oh, by the way, by the way, I did actually find uh, <laughs> some of the, what was it? The soul lava in the nether just kind of randomly whenever I was searching for the vibranium, which is very, very weird. I did not expect that to happen, but you know what? It worked. And I got some more. So that's pretty freaking cool. Although that is not exactly what I would like to use a thing for today. Now, I want to check this again. So I'm looking for the Stellarite thingy. Yes, this thing. I'm so confused on how this is supposed to work. Because you use this for all sorts of different stuff. And it just makes everything indestructible. But it won't do it. To Tinker's Construct items, which really sucks. So it's like, what the heck? And I'm still confused on, like, why in the world it says it has uses. I'm still not so sure about what that's supposed to be. In all honesty. <sighs> God, there's so many things I could do, though, with it. All right. So, okay, okay. So, yeah, I do kind of want to make one of the things. So, I need two of these. I need two of these. One of those. And no, I don't. I need, like, four of those. Never mind. And a Stellarite piece, which, thankfully, I have quite a few. So, let me go ahead and do this. I'm still confused on the right on the right click uses. Like, I don't know what that does. Oh. 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 That is so good. It repairs all of my items. That is actually really cool. Okay, okay, okay. That's actually sick. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think that was what it did. Oh, no, and I can't combine these. Oh, really? Oh, no, no, because it already has on breaking three. Duh. Uh... Yeah, let me go take that off real quick. Where'd I put the books? I think I left them in the disenchantment table. Okay, so... Ender 3, Sharpness 5, Knockback 2, and I'm breaking 3. We'll not need that. So, get rid of Spider's Eye. Go and throw everything we can back on here. Sharpness 5. Uh, Ender 3. Knockback 2. Alright, so that's back to its full glory. Now I should be able to put the thing on it. At least I hope so. I need to get looting on this thing too. It's like as soon as possible. So let me see, please. Yeah, there we go. Indestructible. Oh, that is so cool. And now it will never run out of durability. That is so nice. I I love it. That is just so stupidly good. Okay. So, now since I have all that... <laughs> I think it's time we upgrade our armor. And to be honest, I'm going overkill here. I'm going absolutely overkill. Because honestly, I really just don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff at the moment. So, yeah. I have all this, all the modium and vibranium. So, we're going to do this. So, essentially, basically, all you really need to do. The reason why. Now, I complained about this before. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, that's kind of weird, but okay. But yeah, either way, you can actually just go ahead and make all this. However, you're supposed to do this is like this. No. I, wait, how do you do this? I, there was a way to do this, I swear. Hold on. Near the right. Near the right. Near the right. Near the right. There we go. 
Oh, cover cover me in debris. Nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. So now, all we have to do is this. Yeah, there we go. No crash damage while flying with Elytra. Water breathing, awesome, because I freaking need that. Awesome, that is actually really good. We're actually going to be able to do this. That's the crazy part. I still can't believe this. So now, we use that, and then we make it this way so we can get the vibranium stuff, which is actually a lot better. So... Do the same stuff over and over again. And the helmet. That should be it. There we go. Full vibranium armor. I don't think I can die. I have no fall damage. Piglins become neutral. Protection from damage sources using wither magic resistance. Immune to nausea. Uh, I have a chill aura. I don't remember if that was there. Uh, immune to all damage, all damage sources using fire slash lava. Piglins become neutral. Water breathing, no crash damage while flying with Elytra. Piglins become neutral. That is so good. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This armor is so freaking stupidly overpowered. So why am I doing this? I don't think anything can really hurt me now, now that I think about it. I'm going to go check. I saw some pillagers or illagers over here, so I want to check. Just to see if they can actually do anything. You know, if they're still around somewhere. I swear they were literally like just here. All right, fine. How about down here where there's probably an absolute crap ton of mobs? Hey. What's the durability on this? I can't tell. It should have like crazy high durability no matter what. Oh! I'm actually getting hurt, really. I really thought that would be more. Well, that sucks. Well, I mean, eh, it's still not a lot. That was with, like, all of them trying to hurt me, so that's not that bad. Yeah, that's still pretty good. I mean, it's still it's still actually very, very good. You know what? I'm okay with it. It's cool. Ah, uh, this is so good. I love this. I love having all of this stuff. It just makes life so much easier. It really just does. Jeez, there are a lot of mobs down here. Okay. Whoa, what kind of boots you got, dude? Hold on. Oh, I don't get to see what boots you got. Yeah, I was curious. Oh, there's so many things here trying to kill me. I'm actually taking damage. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case, but I mean, you know what? It's whatever. It's whatever. I mean, it. That means I can still die, which I'm I'm okay with. I'm okay with that because, like, I I know being overpowered is always so fun, but sometimes it can get like really really just annoying because you want to have that challenge so. At least it still offers a bit of a challenge. I'm definitely okay with that. And plus, this also gives me the ability to find more Vibranium and all the modium a lot easier. So that's actually pretty nice. And yeah, that's pretty cool, honestly. All right, so I am a little bit curious. It said I'm immune to all damage sources using fire or lava. So I'm fireproof, right? Yeah, I'm fireproof. <laughs> This is so stupid! Like, oh god. Did I ruin this game for me? I might have. I mean, uh, yep, fire. Can't get set on fire. Oh, that's so good. I I need to collect, like, a crap ton of cobalt while I'm here. To be entirely honest. Uh, we may do that later. Right now, I'm actually more looking for these things right here. Little slime island looking things. It looks like the nearest one's definitely over here in all this basalt stuff. Oh, that's so much fun. God, I hate this place. But you know what? We got to head over there. All right. That's definitely more than enough than what I need. So I need lava wood. That's going to be kind of annoying to get. Ah. I'm going to grab a bucket of lava. Let's try and head back to the base. This is not going to be fun. I'm going to have to swim through so much lava. Where am I? How far down am I? Okay. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Can I get all the way up there? Perhaps? Hi! Oh, you do a lot of damage. Why did you do a lot of damage? Okay, that was that was a little bit scary. Okay. If I lost all of this stuff, I would be so upset. Alright, so 900 buckets or millibuckets of lava, so this should work. Wait, no, that showed up as planks. Why is it showing up as planks? But 
it's Molten Blaze. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Really? Is that going to be enough? I need two of them. How much do I have left? Oh, that's not enough. That is nowhere near enough. Welp. That's concerning. Oh, come on, man. I mean, uh, can I maybe use... Can I maybe use the soul lava? No, I don't think so. I can you try? Is it gonna work? Probably not. No. That is that is so upsetting. <laughs> oh come on, man. Ah! All right. Well, you know what? I do think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end it there. So we're basically indestructible now. Yep. Tools are indestructible. I'm wearing vibranium armor that is basically indestructible and has crazy high protection. Somehow things are still hurting me and I'm not exactly sure like what the point of that is. If it has a really high protection, so I don't quite get that in a sense. I don't know. Either way, I still can't die. So it's not like completely overpowered, which I'm okay with because, you know, in RL craft, we were overpowered for so long and it wasn't exactly the best thing in the world. So, you know what? It's fine. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys hit that like button, also subscribe to the channel. So that way you guys can catch up on the rest of the series. Also, there is a link to my discord in the description below. If you guys want to check that out, it's a place where you guys can talk amongst yourselves. You guys can talk about Minecraft, other games and all sorts of other stuff. So it's pretty freaking cool so other than that i hope you guys have a wonderful day today and you all are awesome